What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for... VGN! Your boy, Floyd. We got some mail. It's VGM time, so let's tear into this. VGM Video Games Monthly. <laughs> uh, stop! Play the past into the future. <laughs> Stop. That's enough. Go online, fill out a list of all the games you have. Dude, stop. Pick the consoles that you want. That is how you get a VGA box. Shut up, Tom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Poor lady has to live with this, like, all the time. <laughs> a cat's tail in a blender, garbage disposal. That kind of reminds me of Tom from Do You Nerd's voice. His singing voice, that is. But boy, I tell you what, he does play a mean pinball. Just say, that song is not in your range, is yeah, it? It's not. <laughs> Turn around. I'm singing baritone on the Falcor. We're going down. Yeah! All right, so what we like to do with our video games monthly is Lady Lacey likes to give me the best clues ever. And I try to guess the games. I know what this one is. This one's a pin. And it says video games monthly. This says video games monthly. And it's got a picture of Floyd. The VGM likes to throw a little trinket in there for you. Something, something kind of fun. It makes the box just extra nice. And they put in a card to remind you to populate that list with any new games that you get. That way you don't get any duplicates and share it online. You might win some, some more games. Who doesn't want more games? Okay, I'm ready for this. All right, so this one is something that like a cop might say to a bad guy. Freeze! Don't move, punk! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Hands in the air. And wave them like you just don't care. Say ho! We've got I just you. Just don't care. Surrounded. No. <laughs> now we've got you now. <laughs> Think of something that's not alive anymore. Dead. Yes. And then opposite of left. <laughs> right. De dead to rights. Yes. Did we get a dead to rights game? Oh, we did not get it on Game Boy Advance. Interesting. We never heard oh. a cop say we've got them dead to rights. I have not. What kind of cops are you around? So dead to rights on Game Boy Advance. I know nothing about this game nor what to expect. So this will be interesting. Though honestly, the Game Boy Advance was a fantastic little system. So it's always a fun crapshoot to see what you got. Is it good? Is it not? Do you guys know anything about it? This next one's a Sega Genesis. Ooh, ooh, nice. Do we like to get some Genesis games? Wait, wait, wait. Is it loose or is it boxed? It's loose. Oh. Oh, okay, I guess. Why do you have to hurt me, Tom? All right, so this one is what a lot of people say redheads have. Rage. <laughs> Why did you get that so easy? <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Dead man walking on a green mile. Uh, Genesis? Uh -huh. Primal Rage. You got it. Oh, I did get it. And I don't like how fast you got that. Cartridge is in stellar condition. Really the label is amazing. I'm trying to think of how good the home versions of Primal Rage were. We had a fantastic arcade tied to a Mexican restaurant when I was growing up. Taco Palace, home of the 49 cent burrito. 
eat at your own risk. And they had a primal rage machine there, and I used to love playing it because your your monsters, all right, like 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 not huge monsters, but you're like a yeti and stuff like that. And as you're fighting, there would be like little people on the sidelines, and you could scoop them up and eat them. And I think you got a little bit of health or something for it. Like I think there was a bonus for doing that. the Yeti stomp? I, I did. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, 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 get ready. Stomp, stomp, stomp on the Yeti. So this next one has a skeleton on the front. Oh no! Spooky! And palm trees. And a sunset. And it's an animal skeleton. An animal skeleton? Mm-hmm. So like a dog? No. Think of dragon. That's <laughs> this Jurassic Park? Yes. <laughs> you give me as a clue an animal skeleton. See? There's with an palm animal trees skeleton. And a sunset. Palm trees at a sunset. I don't think she wants me to guess these games sometimes, <laughs> guys. I just like to see the weird stuff you say. So, Jurassic Park, Sega Genesis, another good looking cartridge here. And I never played the first Jurassic Park on Genesis. I played it on Super Nintendo, and that one was kind of weird. It had a, a fun, like, top-down view and then, like, uh, first-person Doom-esque interiors. So I wonder if the Genesis one is the same. But whenever I think of the Genesis Jurassic Park games, I always think of the uh, sequel where you could play as the raptor. And it's like, if you're playing a video game, that's kind of what you would want to do, yeah, isn't it? Play the as the dinosaur. You want to be the dinosaur. Because let's face it, I mean, other than this one and Jeff Goldblum, you're not going to the Jurassic Park movies for the people. You're going for the dinosaurs. Well, I also now go for oh, um, Owen Grady, you know. Little Chris Pratt, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to call up the horny police on you. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh oh. You're under arrest for being horny on me. All right. Well, we didn't get a card, but we definitely got one, one up. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about the Game Boy. So we do the three games a month because we're cheapskates like that. Uh, but we got a, we got a one up. So a freebie, but no card. That's that's fine. It's in the games instead. All right, so this is a Dreamcast game. Oh, nice. Nice. That I think that makes two months in a row that we've got yeah. a Dreamcast game. So there's a car on the front of it. Need for speed. There's a guy in the car, and he looks really, really scared because there's another car getting ready to smash him on top of him. So. Burnout. Crash. Vigilante 8. There's no glass in the car. Crazy taxi. Crazy school bus. No. Help, my windshield's broken. <laughs> Gotta get to the automotive store. There's a car that's gonna come down on top of the other car. And the guy's inside going, Oh my god, I'm gonna die! To be fair, I'm never gonna get this. Bigfoot, <laughs> the game, car coming down <laughs> on another way. What have we got? I'm, I'm not gonna get this. D Demolition racer, no exit. Look how scared he is. It's because the car's gonna smash I, I don't know. It kind of looks like he's just... Wondering, he's like, oh, what? Did, did I see Joe over there? <laughs> did I leave the stove on? Oh, look at that. The jewel case oh, isn't even busted. So that's pleasant. And the disc looks amazing. So demolition games can be fun. It is one to two players. So three, two, one, go. As a matter of, oh, look at this. Thrashing original soundtrack and remixes by Circus 
Fear Factory, Imperion, and Coffee Boys. How many of those bands are still around today? I say, I'm pretty sure Sega likes Fear Factory. He would. He would. Look what I got. I'm done. This one's a very Sega box. Sega! And obviously, we have some friends that are definitely going to approve of that. <laughs> but classic plastic and, I mean, it's it's still plastic, so it's, it's all classic. <laughs> uh, guys, what did you think of this Sega-fueled VGM box? And have you played any of these? You familiar with Jurassic Park or maybe more the sequel? Are you a demolition racer? one is this lady thinks the gps is like a high score that you have to beat she's yeah, like, oh. i gotta she's get like, there oh, before that, it tells me that I drive is three and a half hours what's your catchphrase we'll see yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> and don't we always beat it <laughs> yes but it's not a high score chill out it is too arrive alive <laughs> we always do don't we all right, we'll leave those comments <laughs> down below. Pray for my safety the next time I'm in the car with Miss Rage here. You're fine. <laughs> Listen, when a girl says it's fine, it's actually, it's not fine. It's the total opposite. And the more times that she says it's, like, if she says it three times, like, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Give the video a like. Hey, check out VGM and, of course, Lady Lacey's advice. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Yep. You're always so worried. Because the door of these days are going to smack me in the face. If it hasn't happened in all the years that we've had. You're getting older. You? I don't know what's happening. I'm stuck like this. <laughs> Doing that Yeti stump on the people. Oh. <laughs> and you're the hottest young person a role model could ask for. <laughs> <laughs> Honk. Honk. Nice. At yeah, least my nose isn't gushing blood. That's true.